Hey guys, um, good morning to everybody. So last night I um, announced I was going to do a video today teaching you guys how to screencast um, and how to make your own videos. That way you can get your own proof out there, um, you can get your own ideas, your own thoughts, your own beliefs um, out there within this family and community and reach others that are still asleep because that is the most important part of this movement is to keep awaking the masses and having each individual personality each different individual you that are all beautiful in your own way other people are going to resonate with you that did not resonate with me or did not resonate with Harvey so for you to put out your own videos in your own way that's going to help awake different people that are drawn to or like different styles so knowledge is power and my goal is to arm you guys with a set of tools so that you can have those different weapons to use against this lying deceptive establishment best way to do that is to do a step-by-step -step. so that's what I'm doing now when doing the screencast okay being that I'm using a screencast to teach you how to do a screencast it is not going to show this little box here okay but I'm going to use this page as a reference to explain to you guys what buttons to hit and how to do it. All right. So you got some you got some news articles that you found that have a lot of information in them. Um, you don't want you, you, you know you you want to be able to have add credit to your video by not just having you simply talking about that but but showing the articles so you want a screencast so you have your your tabs up right you're gonna have your tabs up that's gonna be your information then you're gonna come to this website there are other websites this one just happens to be free for uh, 15 minute videos so if you, as long as you keep it under, it'll limit you to 15 minutes, but it'll be free, and you can't really beat free, right? So, you're going to hit Launch Recorder, and when you hit Launch Recorder, it's going to take a couple seconds, and then it's going to pop up, and it's going to look something like, like this. You're going to have a hashed box around. Okay. And then you're going to have this little bar and this little window. Now this little window is your... Sorry, one second, guys. I'll turn down my ringer volume. It's going off like crazy. Um, <clears throat> now, this is going to have all of your different... This is your menu of options, okay, for your recording. So you can either have it full screen... You can have it so it shows your face with the webcam in a small little box, like over here or up here. You can actually move it where you want it. Okay. Well, if you go just on webcam, the entire recording is going to be a webcam. Um, so as long as your, your recording source, your computer has a webcam or you have a webcam plugged in, then you can do that. And it's not going to screencast at that point. It's going to record you. Okay. And then here, where it says both, that's going to have what I was talking about, where you have like a little a little box that's got your, you know, your face, your webcams on. And it'll have that in there. And then it'll also show the screencast in the rest of that this hashed in box. Okay. So those are your different options. Full screencast, which is what I'm doing right now. Webcam, which is completely your webcam. And then both, which is going to have this hashed in area, plus your a little, a little square of your webcam. It'll start out down here, and you can move it anywhere around that you want. Okay? Um, 
like I said, max recording time is 15 minutes. You can change the, the, the size of the screen, which is going to change this hashed in area. It's also going to change the resolution. When you do full screen, it's in 1080 or whatever your screen is. Okay. Narration. Narration is you talking. It's going to, um, you want to leave that enabled so that your audio, your microphone, and your computer, or whatever microphone you're using, will pick up your audio for the video. And then the computer audio, you can, <clears throat> I'd leave that off. Um, I have a high definition microphone hooked into my laptop. It's it built into my laptop. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you can just leave that off most of the time. It'll it'll pull up the sound from your computer. Um, it'll bring that 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 sound through the speakers and then re-record it, and it shouldn't sound too bad. So now, now that we're familiar with with these main little options here, okay. So you want a screencast. So let's just say you're gonna do full screen. So we're gonna have this set to full screen. It's gonna be this entire area. The entire area of your screen, okay? <clears throat> so you're going to hit the record button. It's going to give you a three, two, one countdown, and then you're recording. So you, and you, just as if you were navigating normally, you can navigate through your different tabs, okay? You navigate through your tabs. And go through your information now it does have and it's going to be like right down here this this little box right here will be down here and when you're recording it'll just be a red circle with a pause and then the the amount of your recording time okay so so you need to pause your recording you know you you you're, you're you got to go look some more information up or you got to go somewhere it's got some personal information you don't want shown you just hit that red button again, it'll pause your recording, all right? So say you messed up on your recording and you want to go back a couple seconds or back a minute and fix that. Ah, that's easy enough. You hit pause on your recording, okay? And then this gray box here is going to be um, your, your recording timeline. You can basically click anywhere in this gray box and then it'll bring the, the recording back to that point. You can hit play, verify it's to the spot that you want, then hit pause. And then once once it's paused, you hit this red button again. It'll say Trunicate video. And you say yes. And then it'll record from the spot that you messed up. It'll record over that, and then you can fix that. Easy enough, right, guys? So, when it comes to... Uh, once you finish your 15 minute recording and you want to put it up on the web, right? It's going to come up with, uh, you know, at the end, it's going to say, um, you've reached the max time, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's going to be a spot that says, um, uh, upload video. It actually says done, not upload video. I just want to be very clear and specific for you guys. So there's a spot that says done once you've say, you know, like I'm done with my video right here at nine, nine minutes. Okay. So I'm going to hit the pause button and then there's a box that comes back up and over here, it's going to say done. And then you're going to click on done. Okay. And then when you click on done, it's going to, the whole thing's going to kind of change. It's going to pop up with another dialog box, and it's going to say, how do you want to um, upload your video? It's going to say you can either download it to your hard drive. It'll say um, you can upload it directly to YouTube, which is what I usually do. Um, and then there's another option, which is to upload it to Screencast-O-Matic. Now, if you upload it to Screencast-O-Matic, they will charge you. Um, you only have so much uh, free space, okay? So either download it to your hard drive if you want to save it or if you want to edit it. Say 
you need you needed a, you want to make a video like how I made those other videos screencasting where I put in other videos um, that I found that were important and I wanted to add in along with me talking then you take your 15 minute first 15 minute section and save it to your hard drive enter the details make a name for your video okay then you hit save it'll do its it's like upload thing going to the computer okay then you go back you click back on here again because each time you finish then you have to hit done once it's it's finished uploading and then you hit this again to restart it it'll bring the box back up finish your video get your other 12 minute section or 15 minute section whatever it is upload that back to your computer and then you'll have those saved on your hard drive okay now I'm sticking this video strictly to the Screencast-O-Matic just for simplification I'm just telling you how you can do it I will do another video to explain how to splice videos in YouTube and all of that so I wanted to just tell you in this video everything pertinent to Screencast-O-Matic so now you've got your 11 minute video here okay for instance we're gonna hit pause we're gonna hit done it's gonna say what do I want to do with it I want to upload this directly to YouTube get it out it's good to go okay hit upload to YouTube it'll ask you which account you gotta put in your account for YouTube under the account tab and then it's going to say um, title write your title in give it a, give it a title whatever title you want there's only so much space that it'll allow though and then there is a uh, a description box on that that screen as well okay so on that description box I personally wait to put anything in the description box until it gets on YouTube it seems a little more simple that way um, I only put a title on it and I I set it to either public or private I put it on private if I need to splice two videos together so if you need to splice two videos together or you have to do some editing then set it to private because there is a drop tab to if you want it to go up as a private video or a public video to start with that's what I do if I have to splice a couple together or change some stuff around on it in the uh, YouTube studio creator okay so simplest I'm gonna recap to make it very simple you want to you want to do a video you come here click launch recorder go to your tabs do your video talk show explain okay then you've finished talking showing and explaining you're gonna hit the pause red button which will be down here where my mouse is click that then it's gonna come up with a screen with a couple little different options go to done hit done okay then it's gonna bring up another box which is gonna ask you how you want to upload your YouTube your video to to wherever you want to upload it um, if you want to upload it to YouTube then you hit upload to YouTube make sure it's going to the correct account it'll say that on the top bar of information the screen kind of looks a little bit similar to this one here and then enter a title then hit upload let it do its thing once it's finished uploading hit done go to YouTube your video will be processing on YouTube you will have to go to the video manager to see that if you just go to the normal um, uh, so, uh, like menu without being at video manager before it's fully uploaded you won't see it and you'll think it didn't upload so click video manager then go to edit video add in your descriptions your tags etc and you're done I will have a more up-to-date video on entering tags and such I have some apps that I use that will help you guys 
If you like what I'm doing, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Leave your comments down below. Much love and God bless you guys.